in the last month go from where they were over 8% to right now, right at about 7%. So with rates being so high right now and having a low down payment, does that give you an opportunity to get some short-term appreciation and then be able to refinance when rates come down and allow you to increase your LTV? We've already seen rates in the last month go from where they were over 8% to right now, right at about 7%. So they've come down almost a full point in the last month. And what's going to happen is down the road when rates still continue to come down, and they will, for every one seller that eventually frees up some inventory, because again, we're gridlocked on a lot of inventory right now. We've got really short supply because everybody's at a at two or three percent. They're not gonna sell their place and move into something and grab something that is mm-hmm. seven or an eight. And that's something that's basically holding inventory off the market as well, right? Correct. There are so many buyers, and I'm sure you hear this all the time, I'm gonna wait till rates come down to buy. What that rate is, who knows, but you have so many buyers that have been sitting on this sidelines. We've seen the law of supply and demand, and there's still more demand than there is supply. So as we've had this happening, we've seen home prices appreciating and going up in value. Now, what will happen is when rates continue to come down, you're going to have this influx of inventory, but about this much, but you're going to have this whole segment of buyers who have been sitting on the sidelines that are going to flood the market. And you're going to have this greater imbalance of supply and demand where all that's going to do is one, make it more difficult for buyers to get their offer accepted because there's going to be a lot more competition in the market. Mm -hmm. But what it will do, it's going to keep home value skyrocketing.